Today, I'm going to be comparing the multi-chromes that are in my Natasha Denona palette with the closest indie singles that I have in my collection. I just thought this would be fun. These aren't new palettes or anything, but I have some newer singles in my collection that seem to be pretty close to some of these multi-chromes. So what better to do than a good old fashioned comparisons video? So I have the My Dream palette, which has this one multi-chrome called Vision. And then I have the Trio Chrome palette, which has the three Trio Chromes in it. So I'm just gonna go shade by shade in the Natasha Denona palette and compare it with the closest indie singles that I've pulled. So the first one I have here is Vision from the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. And this, I always say, is like such a common type of multi-chrome shade, but I really did have a hard time trying to find something that's exactly identical. Like, I think there are very subtle differences between all of these, but let me know what you think. I'm just gonna go shade by shade and swatch them, like, on my fingers because I feel like that's closest to what it's gonna look like on the eyes. I have four pulled. Anything I received in PR will be marked with an asterisk. I think I received all four of these in PR. So Vision, I don't think it has a black base, but it definitely has a maybe semi sheer deep gray base. It's really hard to tell. It's not like a typical black base multi-chrome though. Here's a bit of a closer look. It has some sparkle to it and it's a bit textured but it's not flaky or anything and it shifts from magenta to orange to gold to green. A very common type of multi-chrome. First I have Moon Village from Shall We Makeup. This is like a jeweled multi-chrome. It doesn't really have a black base. I think it is magenta but it's very muted and almost neutral adjacent and then it shifts to orange gold green similar to Vision. So I think this is the closest out of all of them, but I don't think any of these are spot on dupes. Forge Light from the Jeweled Light Multichromes from Cleona. I really wanted to compare this because they don't have a black base and they have a bit more, seem to have more of a similar texture to Vision, but these overall feel a lot more lightweight and sheer and they have more sparkle to them. But in terms of colors, I, I was surprised that this was a bit closer than the next one I'm going to show you. So this is Smolder Light and I thought this would be like spot on but this is a lot more cool tone and a little bit deeper this is the new jeweled light formula and i think it is kind of similar at least it has similar vibes but it's thinner less opaque and more sparkly this is another clean owner shade i just have it repainted in a 26 millimeter pan this is Queen's Bank. And this one is also similar in the straight on facing tone. It's like a kind of muted magenta and it also shifts to gold and green. This formula is actually probably the most similar out of everything I've shown you because it is a bit thicker than the Jeweled Lights and it has a little bit more opacity to it. But I'll pop up the, the picture of all four of them swatched together. Let me know which one you think is closest or if any of them are exact dupes. Next, we have the Trio Crow Palette. So I'm just gonna go down this column. A lot of indie makeup lovers were underwhelmed by the formula of the multi-chromes in this palette because they are, how do I put this? They're not as impactful or shiny or reflective as a lot of the indie formulas we've become accustomed to. I actually find this formula to be really nice to work with. I think it's a really easy, effortless formula. It depends on my mood. Like sometimes I want something that's just easy, not insanely high impact. And sometimes I want like the most sparkly, the most reflective, the most intense. I can appreciate both ends, but I understand why people were not really vibing with this formula. I have three pulled. Let me show you up close what Scarab looks like. So Scarab is like an olive green and it shifts from gold to green to teal. It's kind of a common type of multi-chrome. Another thing I will say, okay, so the form, the multi-chromes in this palette, I don't think they have a black base. I think they have a gray base and they are very, very finely milled and they have more of like a satin sheen to them rather than a high impact jeweled metallic finish. The first one I have here is Chromosphere from Davina. And this is a traditional black black base multi-chrome. It shifts from gold to green to teal to honestly blue too, depending on the lighting you're in. This is one of the only black base multi-chromes that I actually enjoy using. And this one is a lot more shiny. This is the closest color wise. The finish is very different and it has that black base. Okay, next I have Burnish from Cleona. This is one of their new jeweled lights and they sent this to me in PR and this has a very different formula but I was curious to see how the colors compare. So this is a orange from straight on and it shifts to gold, green, teal. 
the finish is very different. It has that soft gray base and then it's very dimensional and sparkly. And the shifts I think are very different. This is more orange forward, whereas Scarab is more green forward. The last one from Cleona that I have pulled is Patina Light another one of their jeweled lights. And again, the formula is different. It's more dimensional and sparkly and it has that great base. And the colors are different too. This is more, this is even more green forward compared to Scarab. I feel like it's overall more cool toned. Here are all of them swatched together. Let me know which one you think is the closest. Next one is Kinetic, and this one was actually the hardest to find any dupes. This is like a really surprisingly unique multi-chrome. It's like a muted purple, and it shifts orange and gold. So the two shades I have pulled to compare with it are Turret from Cleona. This is a repan. This is one of their pastel multi-chromes. I think this formula is actually the most simil similar formula to the actual Trio Chrome shades. It has that like satiny, sheeny finish without much texture or sparkle, very user-friendly. And then I also have Reign of Terra from Terra Moons. So Turret, which by the way is such an underrated shade from Cleona. I really like their pastel multi-chrome formula. Formulas. Turret is a lot warmer toned and I see like some orange sparkles mixed throughout it and then it shifts. I do see those same orange to gold shifts in it and maybe like a tiny hint of chartreuse. So I think this is the closest thing I have but as you can see there are definitely differences. And then Reign of Terra, it's this intense like grape purple. It has this like overlay of shifts that go from orange to gold to green. Another really unique shade. This one is a lot more reflective and shiny and saturated. Definitely a different vibe, but I feel like it's similar in that it has that purple with the orange to gold. Okay, and the last one I have is Color Flip, which I, I actually love this multichrome. I use it a lot, surprisingly. And it does have that like generic like magenta to gold to green shift to it. But I also feel like it's desaturated. It's like, I don't know, there's just something really special about it. So here's Color Flip up close. So you really see that like muted magenta and then it shifts to gold and green. Just a really pretty and unique undertone shade in my opinion. Okay, so the first one I have is Cathedral. Cathedral from Cleona, which is again repanned, one of their pastel multi-chrome. I guess it reads as a mauve from straight on and then it shifts to gold and green and it has that gray base. The only difference really is that color flip is a little bit less gray almost. It's like a little bit more magenta slash purple forward, whereas this is a lot, a little bit more desaturated. But overall, they are pretty similar. Like, I don't think you would need both if you're a reasonable person. Okay, next is Karina Nebula, which is, this was sent to me in PR, and this has been one of my favorites from their recent launches. This is like a really nice everyday friendly purple-ish shade. I thought it would be similar, but I definitely see a lot of differences. This is different in that it has a purple base and then like the part that shifts is orange to gold to green. Whereas with color flip, the part that shifts is magenta to orange to gold. Hopefully that makes sense. Even though they have the same colors, the way they're distributed and interact with the light are different. And then here's Helix Nebula, and this is way more different than I imagined. I always think of this as like a deeper version of Karina Nebula. So basically it has that deeper purple base, and then it shifts from orange to gold to green. Again, I thought this would be a lot more similar in my head, but as you can see, when they're swatched out, they are definitely very different. I'm going to pop up the video of all four of them swatched together and let me know which one you think is closest if you think any of them are close enough to be dupes. I also had to add in some bonus comparisons because while I was doing the swatches, I was like, oh wait, this might actually be more similar to this. Here is the first one we have, which is, this is Kinetic versus Helix Nebula. I thought they might be similar because they have that 
deep grungy purple with the orange and gold but definitely a lot more different than I thought. I was also curious to see how Color Flip from the Trio Chrome palette compared to Moon Village from Showy Makeup from that first group. And Color Flip is a lot cooler tone. I feel like Moon Village is reading almost like orangey compared to it, but compared to Vision, it looks more of like a magenta. And I also wanted to compare Color Flip to Queen's Banquet from Cleona, and I think they are pretty similar color wise, just the texture and finish are different. And then finally, I can't believe I haven't done this before, but I wanted to compare Color Flip from the True Chrome palette to Vision from the My Dream palette. Color Flip seems to be less saturated and a bit deeper, while Vision is a little bit brighter and more vibrant, and I do see some more visible shifts. But these are definitely similar vibes. In my head, I think of them as being so different, but as you can see here, they are quite similar. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, but other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!